so mrp is a product or mrp is a planning tool or you can also call it as a planning engine which makes sure we have a right material at right time in right quantity at right place so mrp is a planning tool or planning engine which makes sure you have a right material available at right time in right quantity at right place so how it would be doing it let's try to understand that so mrp is the engine which will be running okay so it would be taking all the requirements right so we have discussed that from fg sfg to raw material the requirement has been flown right so for a material let's say it is checking rm 10 material for rm 10 material it would be checking first thing it would be checking what are the different requirements are there what are, what can be the requirement uh, elements here what can be the requirement elements for raw material 10 the requirement elements can be a uh, your dependent requirements right the dependent requirements can be a, a requirement element the another requirement element can be a stock transfer order another plant wants it so stock transfer order stock transfer requisition right that can be all the the requirement element for the rm10 and this dependent requirement would be coming from your sfg planned order is creating a requirement for this raw material or sfg production order so this is the requirement which system would be checking ki bhaiya how much of raw material i need it system would be checking first that how much of material i would be requiring it second thing system would be checking once it check the requirement second thing it will try to check what is my supply what comes under the supply what comes under the supply quickly on the chat window under the supply it would be coming your existing purchase requisition existing purchase order existing strs existing sto's would be coming as a supply supply is anything which will increase the stock is supply which will decrease the stock is your requirement or demand demand will decrease the stock supply will increase the stock okay your purchase requisition will convert into purchase order then the stock will increase purchase order you will do good receipt stock will increase str and sto are at the both places it is demand also and it can supply also because if you are having a plant a and if you are having a plant b and plant a is supplying to plant b and on another way plant b is giving a requirement to plant a so this requirement and supply will happen through a stock transfer order so this this stock transfer order will act as a supply for this plant b but the same stock transfer order will act as a requirement for plant a okay so stock transfer order can be a requirement also stock transfer order can be supply also that depends between the plants how it has been put it okay so that would be your supply system would be checking and once system has checked the supply system would also be checking what is your own hand stock so once system compare your requirement versus supply versus on hand stock then system will try to identify do we have any kind of shortages indirectly mrp is the tool to find it out your shortages ki as per the requirement or demand whether everything is covered through the stocks or supply if it is not covered through stock or supply do we have any kind of shortage system will try to find it out the shortage and for the shortages it will try to generate a proposals it will try to identify it will try to identify whether you are having a 
procured, whether this material is going to be procured or whether this material is going to be produced. Based on that system would be giving you a, based on that system would be giving you a proposal. If it need to be procured, system would be generating a purchase requisition. If it need to be produced, system would be generating a planned order. That would be outcome of your, that would be outcome of your MRP. Either a planned orders would be generated or a purchase requisition would be generated. I have a question. Does PR generate supply? Yes, PR generates supply. Purchase requisition would be generating supply. PR will get converted into PO. PO against PO, you will have GR. Just give me a minute. Procurement type in material master, we defined what would be our procurement type. We defined whether it's an external procure material or it's an in-house material. We define E or F in MRP. I will go into the system. I will show you in the master data in MRP screen. You will be maintaining E or F. Let me go you. Let me go quickly and show you, show it to you. Thank you.